Welcome, plungers. Thanks for tapping in. As promised, well, we'll get back to these guys in a second. But as promised, I'm going to give you guys the aerial view. Oh, yeah. Okay. As promised, I'm going to give you guys the aerial view of the property, which has grown quite a bit since the last episode. Yeah, that one doesn't have a saddle. So, yeah, that's Patricia. And this is John. Let's increase the weight a little bit. Some stamina. Some melee damage and throw one into speed. Because I turned speed back on. So yeah. We'll come from this side. Make it more dramatic. So you can see the property. So this is that hallway. The secret doors from the workshop there. And then we have the front gate or the side gate. The breeding center, which I made a lot of use of. And we got our dock here. Couldn't see it before, but I pay attention to the details. And we have our herbivore center and we have our I put some air conditioners up here so uh, I could also breed the RG's but since I got the T-Rexes I don't need to breed the RG's anymore for their eggs okay then we have this over here I'm calling this one the bungalow Let's go inside real quick. I'll show you guys real quick how it's looking up in here. Once you got a forge, like you can make a whole lot of forges and a lot of metal stuff. Especially in this location. I'm pretty much in the relatively same location I was in before. Um, I'll show you in a minute, but yeah, we got this, uh, little bungalow here, currently not in use, but you know, it's whatever, whatever. At some point, I'm going to try to live out of each one of these residences just to test their functionality and their practicality i'm gonna try to live out of each of them but right now i've been living in the main in the main one okay um let's take paul for the next one this one is the treetop bungalow I want it to platform to look like it's hanging, generally hanging. So I guess the only points that are really touching the ground are, other than the pillars, are the steps right here. Like everything else is hanging from that platform. And I haven't really decided what to put down here yet. And I haven't really, really fleshed out how I'm going to arrange up here. I just have it slapped together ramshackle. But I do have another balcony here. Oh, that's the taming pen. We'll get to that in a moment. And we have this just in case, you know, you got a flyer, just fly on in and Maybe at some point that roof will render, but go watch that. 
And I got a little, little terrace here also. Yeah. And then go downstairs. And again, I have no idea what I'm going to do with this yet. Oh, and poop has become a very important commodity, apparently. And here we have the taming pen. So basically I just RG and just drop whatever I want to drop in here, right? And, and I got a door right here and it gives me a balcony and access and I could just trank and then depending on where they are because there's only one door but I come around to this side and I could come through this door and I can come down here and I could apply whatever food or kibble necessary and then when I'm done it can be walked out through here at some point I want to make a platform that goes around straight around this way to the other side He thought he got away with that meal. He thought he was having a good day. I ruined it for the Istiosauruses. Oh! I don't like Istiosauruses. Or Pelagornuses. And over here, I've got the kind of... I did this in The Sims, and I'll probably leave a link to that video. And it came out a lot better in The Sims, but I wanted to do a Brooklyn Brownstone. It came out exponentially better in, in The Sims. Like, you should really see that video. But kind of a brownstone with the turreted front windows and I don't know. No furnishings of any kind, no equipment, nothing to speak of in here. It's just a shell. And at some point, I will fill it up and try to live out of here also. And as you can see, it's, it's cage-free, so I'd have to have my Thames in a pen. Maybe on the outside here. And maybe partially here. I don't know. They would have to be pen because they couldn't fit inside. But yeah, let's get back to these T-Rexes that I breeded. And I breeded and breeded and breeded and breeded and breeded and breeded and breeded. Just to get four stacks of mutations on the parental and maternal side. So now I'm working on the eighth stack. And... And it took a lot of breeding just to get the colors that I wanted, actually. Now let's put this RG back where I found him. I don't want to leave Patricia without Paul. And I'll run over here on foot. Always armed. As you guys saw from that Diflosaur that emerged. But yeah. So I breeded these colors. Because these are the best so far. But I have, well, I did have, uh, I had a red and a neon green one before my file was wiped. If I could find another one and somehow figure out a way to incorporate those colors, make a whole different bloodline, I could be open to that. But I've got them about three minutes apart. As far as, like, wanting to cuddle, and there we go. He's got a cuddle, and this one wants, I can't see it, Tinto Berry. Do I have any Tinto Berry on me? No Tinto Berry on me. So, go grab me a Tinto Berry. Because I have, I had it perfectly set up now. Like, the time it takes, and the... 
make it. I have it set up perfectly. The imprinting, the time, all of that. I got a Thyla. I call it Trila Loki. Lo Trila Colio. Because this is where I learned the imprinting times. And at one point it was 56 minutes and I had two minutes left before it fully matured. So there was like, there was no way. You guys hear that? I was gonna stop, but again, New York City, man. I don't got no soundproof nothing. I got good windows. So it could have been worse. If you heard it, trust me. I got a good microphone. So we'll go in uh Trila. Give Trila. Trila Colio. I think I might make might make her first name Trila, last name Colio. But I just wanna all right, see, so I've got 20 minutes and 36 seconds, so that falls right into about 90%. So I'll have enough time. The first imprinting gave him 50%, the second imprinting gives him another 50%, and I give them, like their father, Chad, I, I had literally seconds to get the imprinting. He wanted an Azul Berry and I didn't have an Azul Berry on me. That's probably why I have 294 of them. Cause I just grabbed the whole stack and ran out here with it so I could catch him. But yeah, this is the bloodline that I'm going with. Uh, this is the third generation of these. Oh, wait a minute. This is not the right Rex. This is not the right Rex. What's going on here? I think I might have needed to breed one more. I might have needed to breed one more. So this is not apparently not even the correct Rex. This is the right one. Because it's supposed to have four stacks of mutations on each side. This one only has two stacks of mutations on each side. So this is the wrong Rex. Unfortunately. Good thing, well, I did name him. It's Dex Rex. And uh, we got Max Rex. But yeah, that was the wrong one. Damn it. Let's see. So we have Chad Rex and Stamp Rex. Those are the parents. Uh. Oh, I think I put them in here. I got the 90 there. No, that's not it. I think this might be it. No, I'm just going to have to breed the parents again. I'm going to have to breed the parents again so I can get the, the next stack. But you see where I'm going. So this is going to be Mex Rex. And if I could get a bunch of females at the top tier, like the fully matured, like I'm figuring it out now. I, I did it in Evolve with RGs to breed down to the colors you want and all of that. I mean, it takes a long time. I've got my egg laying to about six or seven minutes. It goes from one laid egg to another, maybe eight minutes from one laid egg to another. I have the incubation at about three minutes and 30 seconds. And I have the, from a baby, like the Rexes take about 40 minutes to fully mature with two imprints in between at 50% each. But yeah, that's it. That's what I'm doing. And I do live near the island, so I did go to the island over there at uh, Carno Island to grab myself the two Rexes that I started with. And uh, they were both babies. <laughs> Kill their parents and ended up with the babies. So, and I also started making kibble. 
That's another thing. I'm making me some kibbles. So I got me some kibbles and I got, oh, I might have, oh, there we go. I got Stampin' Shadrax. That's the egg right there. That's the egg right there that I need to start incubating. A lot of eggs have been eaten. So yeah, hopefully this is a male when it's born. And then I can start the next chain. Mex Rex. Well, since that was Dex Rex, we're going to have to make this Dax Rex. As soon as it's born. But yeah, that's the update. That's what I got for you guys today. Thanks for watching. Peace! This is the worst.